Neoclassicism is defined as the revival and connection of the classical style to the music of the 20th century. Known for his inventive style, Igor Stravinsky was the initiator of the neoclassical movement. Stravinsky was adamant in staying away from regionalism, folklorism, and romanticism, and chose to create his own style instead. He was quoted saying, I despise all modern music. I am the present. Although Stravinsky disliked new music styles, his interest focused on adapting classical styles into his own. His neoclassical music was a return to the classical styles of Mozart and Bach. Certain characteristics from classical era music can be observed in Stravinsky's Ride of Spring, in particular the movement Ritual of the Ancestors. These characteristics include homophonic texture and call and response. At this time, we shall listen to a short excerpt of the movement. Please allow yourself to listen for the techniques I've just mentioned. In the movement Ritual of the Ancestors, you are able to hear the call and response technique that Stravinsky uses. As we heard, this technique can first be observed within the first few move measures of the movement. Two voices call and response with each other and remain the movement's focus above the homophony of the remaining voices. We are able to hear the other voices moving in single notes together, thus creating a texture based on supporting chords. The homophonic texture of the remaining voices creates a block harmony that sits under the call and response melody, creating the overall dissonance that sets the ominous tone throughout the movement. Although the techniques Stravinsky uses in the movement are techniques that can be observed in the musical styles of Mozart and Bach, it is evident, as in Rituals of the Ancestors, how Stravinsky was able to reinvent homophony, rhythm and voice leading through call and response, and transform them into his very own style. <laughs> 